angels of death. The trees are dropping their leaves. The weather is finally cooling down after so many weeks of hellish heat. In the kitchen, the olive oil is sizzling, the catfish and garlic are frying, the prego sauce and square pieces of sticky green plantain are added, the pan is covered and left to simmer. The knife is dull, it needs sharpening. Whoosh, 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 goes the knife against the sharpener. The fresh parsley is already washed. Carefully I started chopping it very finely. The smell and sound of the cutting board bring sweet memories of my childhood. Completely absorbed, my mind takes me more than 2,000 miles away from my kitchen in El Centro. Abruptly, I'm disturbed and troubled. The old glass windows, the wooden walls, and the floor of our small house begin to shake. On the other side of the fence, in the neighbor's yard, I hear chickens running away in confusion. As their clucking joins the crowning of the solitary rooster in a garbled and chaotic symphony. My dog Sandy stands still in an alert position, with her ears pricked up trying to discover where the thunderous sound is coming from. A flock of birds swing towards the south. Once again, the blue angels have taken over the skies. For months, I deliberately and consciously managed to block their noise and avoid insanity. But I see children hiding, seeking shelter, when thousands of bombs explode in their playing ground or their backyard. I see eyes and dry lips looking up at the sky, receiving these unwanted presents of doom and destruction from above. I see images of children and women running away in fear and desperation. I see houses, sacred temples and flesh flying into pieces and death walking in a huge cloud of dust and smoke. I see children without their mothers and mothers without their children. I see husbands without their wives and wives without their husbands. I see empty stomachs flying in the air. Misery and hopelessness is everywhere. Day after day, while I continue with my busy life, I hear this rumbling and stormy sound of the blue angels flying over my roof. War and combat are real, yet I can still cook my meal without having to hide. Wherever I am, I stay. I add the fresh cut cilantro and parsley. The food smells and looks tempting. I serve myself a plate of steamed rice and on the top, my catfish stew. After my second spoon of food, my appetite vanishes. I can eat no more. I'm America. I'm part of an unending war.